What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video on TPL locks. Today I have a lock talk prepared for you guys. Today I want to review people with freeform locks. Now there can be some semi freeform people in here because sometimes it's just really hard for me to kind of recognize the difference between true freeform and semi freeform. But bear with me. Welcome to lock talk. So today I want to start this lock talk off with this beautiful picture. Uh, I've seen her on Instagram before and I believe she also has a YouTube channel where she uh, kind of takes you on her journey of her freeform lock. So I think I found her on YouTube when she didn't have locks yet. Um, and I believe her locks are fairly bit longer than we see here now. But so I know that she does have freeform locks uh, because she said so in the video. Um, if I find her channel, I'll put it in the description below so you can go and follow her. But she has a beautiful set of locks. And what I always love about freeform locks is how much it reminds me of a lion's mane because it's it's wild, but it's also, it looks very, um, it looks very regal to me. It has some, some vibe about it that makes me instantly respect the person that has the freeform locks. Another thing that I love about freeform locks and most people do is that no set looks the same. So if you were to freeform your hair and then cut your locks, start over again, it'll probably not look the same. That is what's so unique about freeform. In this next picture, we see someone who is not as far into his journey as the picture before. So this is kind of the stage that comes before what we just saw. Here you can still see the curl pattern in some uh, strands of hair such as here and here, but you can also see very clearly some locks that are starting to form and starting to congo. So, so that means that two locks are grown together, but the ends are still not attaching to each other. So you get like a two headed dragon. And something else that happens a lot with people who start freeforming, if your hair is a bit longer and you start freeforming, your hair shrinks a lot because your curl pattern kind of collapses on itself and then it starts to form locks. So some people who start freeform locks with long hair end up with very short hair a year in because the hair is starting to kind of like bud and dense and, and grow into itself. In this next picture, we have someone who always reminds me of my own hair pattern. I think our curls are almost the same. Uh, this is a black and white picture, but I believe she has blonde locks and I think these could be semi freeform because they do look fairly well defined and they're all kind of the same size, but we also see a lot of loose hair and that is also a characteristic, a characteristic of freeform locks because uh, not all hair will just combine very naturally into locks for most people. For most people, you have some areas, especially around the edges, maybe around the back as well, that takes a bit longer to lock up. So you have a stage in which you have dreadlocks as well as your own loose hair poking out everywhere. Right, so in this next picture, we have a totally different look. And I think this is the difference between curl patterns as well. Because if we go back to this picture, I think she'll be like a 3C to 4A maybe. And in this picture, this is clearly a bit more towards 4C. So you can also see that different types of hair get different types of results with the same method. So in his case, his locks are starting to kind of like hang down. So they're becoming a bit heavier because they've been locking up for a while. But still, you can see that they really want to stick up everywhere and uh, do their thing. What you do see with people who have more uh, coarser hair types is that they have less of the frizzy hair that pokes out everywhere. So my theory is that their hair combines together a bit better than with people with a lighter curl pattern. Don't quote me on this, but this is what I've seen uh, in real life with people around me who have locks, that the people with coarser hair tend to have less loose hair after a while than the people who have a looser curl type. Now, this is a picture of someone who is way further into his freeform journey and even his beard has become a freeform lock and um, and this I'd say is a bit more towards the Rastafari, the people who just let their hair be 
and don't do it because they like the look. They just do it for spiritual reasons and because they believe that this is the way their hair naturally forms over time. And that's what you can see as well is that many locks have started to combine and after a while you end up just like Bob Marley with only a few locks on your head. So you can also see some hair here around the edges that has started to grow out and form its own little small locks. But uh, yeah, this is definitely not, not for everyone, but I just want to include this because this is probably what most people think of when they hear the term dreadlocks, especially people who are not familiar with it. Uh, they will think of the typical Rastafari look. All right, so here we have another short set of freeform locks. Uh, and I think, mo first of all, this is a beautiful picture. So it's already really, it looks really cool. Um, but what's interesting here is that we see that one lock here is kind of dipping down. So maybe she had longer hair before and then it started locking because it's kind of unusual that one is just poking out like that unless her hair in the back right there is a bit longer than the rest of her hair or this strand of hair just didn't shrink as much as the rest of her hair. So I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, you can still see kind of her her afro pattern because when you start freeforming and you have an afro, the curls that normally form in your fro, in your afro will eventually form into locks. So you can already get a sense of what freeform locks you will get or semi freeform locks if you start pulling them apart by looking at your curl pattern when you're just wearing it loose and it dried up as an afro. Here we have a longer set of freeform locks and he's wearing them down. So I think this is a really cool picture to show you that most people who have longer locks tend to wear it up in uh, in a bandana, in a bun or in a tam or some other way to protect your hair because some people believe that sharing your hair, your spiritual extension of yourself is just for you and the people that are closest to you, not necessarily for anyone walking down the street. So a lot of people wear their hair up and protected, but it's cool to see that when they wear their hair down, that it's really long and that it has formed into such neat, almost rope-like locks. So here at the scalp, we can see how there's, how there's still loose hair. So he's not retwisting his hair, obviously. So the hair that grows out at first is still kind of loose and then it starts combining its way into the lock. So the lower down you go, the denser the hair is probably. Then here we have uh, a skateboarder. I forgot his name. One of you asked me to do a review on him. So I guess we have to do that pretty soon but um, I'm not sure if he has his hair still, but he has an epic set of freeform locks as well. You can see that his locks in the back are way thicker than the ones in the front. He still has some curls here on the bottom, so you can kind of see his natural curl pattern as well. And I don't think that'll change unless he does something about that. So some people after a while, they use a crochet hook or they just wrap the loose hair around the end of the lock and after a while they can combine. But I think it looks better this way, leaving it like that and having your curls at the end of your locks. Now here we have uh, a set of locks that really reminds me of a pineapple, the pineapple life. That's what this channel stands for, TPL. And I think this is a great example of why I call this channel that pineapple life because his hair really looks like the crown of a pineapple uh, and I really love this look. I really love how this looks and you can see that he has quite thick locks so his hair has started to combine in quite thick strands. For some people it naturally does that. For other people they have thinner locks when they freeform but to my understanding the only way to get thinner freeform locks is to semi freeform so by pulling them apart. Anyways these locks are really cool. Now this is another funky style we can see that he has the same the similar pineapple look going on but his are standing up way more especially this one. It looks like it's almost like vertical and I think it's really uh, incredible that the hair can do this, that it can stand up like that, or maybe he does something to keep them that way. I don't think so, but uh, yeah, it's funny to see how different people react differently to the freeform uh, method. Another crazy pineapple style. Here we can see that these locks are a bit more thin. So either he has pulled them apart and that's semi-freeform, or 
or his hair just naturally does that because if we look at this it looks like it's kind of formed all the way to the root so that's make me th that makes me think that he does something to his locks he has freeform locks uh, but I'm not really sure because this section right here kind of looks like it it is wanting to combine because it's already kind of standing up and these are kind of congos um so unless he starts pulling them apart i think it'll grow together into one big lock and then you end up with long locks where you have one big lock and then at the bottom you have multiple small ends to the lock but for now uh yeah i want to thank you for watching if you enjoyed it you know what to do give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace